A nine-year-old boy has described how he struggled at school for years after a bungled cochlear implant at Adelaide's Women's and Children's Hospital. At least 30 children's implants at the hospital were wrongly programmed and the state government admits it still doesn't know how far back the problem goes. Jun Ting Song's cochlear implant wasn't programmed properly, delaying his listening and spoken language skills. So when I had the cochlear implant, I had a lot of struggling in school because it wouldn't work and it was like a flat battery and I didn't have the opportunity to learn. The nine-year-old is one of at least 30 children who've been identified as being caught up in the cochlear implant bungle at the Women's and Children's Hospital. While the government says it's contacted the families of more than 100 children in the program, the opposition wants authorities to go further and speak to anyone who's had an implant in the past 10 years. I've been inundated with families who have only heard about this after brave people have come forward to share their experiences. The government says there'll be an independent review that looks at not only how it happened, but how far back the problem goes. I don't think that we have uh, completely identified when the beginning of this issue was yet. It's too late for Jun Ting Song, whose therapists say he may never develop age-appropriate listening and spoken language skills. But after getting his implant reprogrammed six months ago, he did hear something for the first time. Yes, that's the first time I heard people saying happy birthday was on Saturday. The first of what will hopefully be many happy returns. Leah McLennan, ABC News, Adelaide.